Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian from Beat Turismo. Head is itchy every time I walk out here. It's the heat and the bugs. There's not too many bugs right now. But anyway, so uh, if you watched the prior video, you saw me wash the car, mostly dry it. Um, I didn't dry it 100% because I used deionized water, so you don't really have to. If you take a look, there's really no water spots or anything like that that are new. There are some bugs. If you look pretty closely, there's bugs, um, there's one. And what happens is they come in here and they love the reflection from the light and then they just freaking um, die on the surface of the car. I guess uh, trying to love themselves. I don't know what the deal is. Um, so, so here's how we're starting off. It's uh, decently clean. I've taken off my watch and ring and uh, I've got on uh, gym shorts and a t-shirt so I don't risk stretching anything with like a belt buckle or whatever. So the first thing we're going to do right now is go around and tape off um, the edges because I don't want to get compound. In this case, uh, I don't want to get finesse onto, there it is, onto the plastics or the rubber. <clears throat> you know, I don't know for sure if it would do any damage or leave marks or whatever, but I just don't want to take that chance. I know wax will leave marks on, you know, plastics like this. Uh, maybe not this, but maybe definitely this. So I'm going to tape these pieces off, tape off the taillights, and uh, I don't think I'm even going to do anything with the bumper, honestly. I might just, like, do a wipe down and put some stuff over top. I don't see any um, water spots. It's actually pretty awesome. I must have done that part already. Um, the glass, the glass can get polish on it as far as I know. You just want to be careful polishing the glass, obviously, because it's transparent and you can leave marks. This looks really hazy, so I don't know what's going on here. There's a rock chip right there. If you're at a point where you're thinking about ceramic coating or PPFing your car, um, this is a side note, I guess, but these caps are like, I think they're like $30 a piece or less, whereas PPF Getting PPF installed might be 125 for the mirrors. It's been my experience that it's probably cheaper to just buy a new mirror cap periodically. All right, well, uh, let's get to taping. All right, a uh, quick update. I didn't get too far, but uh, I decided I needed to open up the trunk so I could properly tape this edge because it's kind of under the it's kind of under the wing here. So uh, I did that and wow, it's really dirty under there. Anyway, um, this car has been sitting since yesterday, it's full 24 hours and there's still uh, water dripping out of places. So just keep that in mind if you're going to um, you know, do this. Um, you're just gonna have to catch a little bit of water and that's it. So nothing to worry about. Uh, one other quick little update. So, you know, I'm not a, I'm new to this. I'm true to this, but I'm new to this. Uh, so uh, this little, there's like a corner here. And depending on what car you're doing this on, you might have a similar feature. I'm not gonna attempt to polish this, the upper surface out here. You can get a better look at it here. So it's a flat surface. It's essentially uh, horizontal. I'm not going to attempt to polish that because I would be banging my pad into that. And I don't have any kind of a rotary tool that doesn't have the random orbits and I wouldn't want to take a chance on polishing that and going through this corner too fast so I've taped off that whole thing just because when it comes to cleanup time I don't want to end up with you know if I were to tape just this off then maybe I would end up with polish underneath this uh, strip and I don't even want that so I'm gonna tape off this entire feature here that way there's no chance of getting any um, polish in underneath that I would have to deal with later. And then up here, um, I'm going to just tape along this edge and then of course tape this off. Um, for the most part, I would say that if you're slinging, you're using too much product and you need to use less. But, um, you know, somebody more experienced might tell you something different and I would listen to them because I have very little experience doing this. I'm just sharing what I'm finding as I go here. 
Um, and I, I have watched a lot of videos on YouTube and I've watched some people do this and stuff and uh, got some really good pointers and uh, we'll just go with those and um, you know just uh, I'll develop my own process I guess but remember I'm not correcting like defects I'm just correcting well defects I am correcting defects in that they're water spots but I'm not correcting like scratches and swirls and stuff um, unless I guess encounter them as I go we'll see anyway update done for now on to the next spot well in a matter of just a few minutes this is how far I got just uh, kind of really roughly taped off remember the car's not like faded and nasty and stuff it's ceramic coated and the coating still beads very nicely I just want to take care of these water spots so I just taped off here like this uh, I don't think I'll tape off around that edge I think we'll be okay with the gas cap the doors you know I'll open them when I go to do my polishing that way I don't worry about you know extending off of this edge or into this edge or anything like that and then I can also get the whole way to the bottom without getting down into the side skirts. So I just taped off the plastics, the mirror. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about the mirror. I don't think I'm even actually going to touch it. Or if I do, I might just kind of like take the tool, polishing tool, and bzzz, you know, go like this and just see if it gets any better or not. These might be due for replacement. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I got this all taped off. I'm not going to go any further tonight because it's 9.30 and I've been working crazy hours at my uh, regular job, so I'm um, going to stop for now. The next step from here would be actually to go through with a wax and oil remover. Americana Global Stripper is the product of choice. Wax and oil residue remover and use that to go around and just get off all the fingerprints from me touching, you know, as I was applying tape and stuff. And then it'll, that'll also work to get the stupid bugs off. And like I said, I'm not going to clean it off tonight because I'll just get more bugs for tomorrow. Uh, I think I will keep the fans on just to kind of keep it, uh, keep the air moving in here. So maybe I'll have fewer bugs than what I would have otherwise. But, you know, I don't know. Um, and that's it for now. So, thanks for watching this point, up to this point. And uh, there will be more to see uh, in tomorrow's portion of the same video.